Hey y'all, welcome back. This is Trey at TreyMixes.com and today we're going to do a free plug-in review for you guys that uh, pay attention out there and want the best free plugins. I've got a good one for you this time. So for right now, Isotope has Vocal Doubler as a free plugin. So I'll put the link in the description, but you guys can head over to Isotope and check it out and get that yourself just for signing up for their mailing list. And I've got this old session pulled up, and I've turned off the previous doubling effect I was using, and we're going to just use this on a vocal. We're going to pull this up and check out what we're working with here. And when we pull up an instance of Vocal Doubler, this is what it looks like. And this is pretty fantastic. I've really enjoyed playing with this thing today. And I would recommend everyone go get it, as it's one of the best doubler effects that I've ever seen especially for free. So that's a big deal. We're just going to listen to what we got. I dropped this instance of Vocal Doubler right on this single vocal track. All the other processing is still turned on the vocal, um, but I turned off the doubling effects, and we're going to listen just to what it does to have this turned on. Crawl your way back home. So just by turning the thing on, you get... Double in the left and double in the right, which is something that I do on almost all of my mixes. That This is by default. That's what this thing does. It sounds wonderful. So one more time, let's listen to it on and off. Roll your way back home. You'll be fine and care. It's a very cool algorithm they've got. So let's talk about the controls on this. So on the vocal doubler, we have this separation control. So when it creates your two doubles, the default is set for 100. And at 100%, um, you've already heard what it sounds like. So let's listen to it turn up and down. Draw your way back home. And that's controlling the stereo image of your doubles from hard pan left and right, fully stereo, and more mono. And you can see that indicated by the interface of the plugin. Um, you can drag with separation, or you can drag on the interface itself. And that's what your separation control does. So let's put it back where it defaults out. And let's look at variation. Draw your way back home. You'll be fine and carry on. And what variation does is this is altering the algorithm in this plugin to cause variations in pitch and vibrato and some other parameters in the vocal itself so as to create variations like if one singer sang it uh, and then took a second take and took a third take. It wouldn't always be exactly perfect and you really wouldn't want it to be. Um, and this can also be controlled by the interface. And so what's nice about this is you just move this around until you can maybe find your sweet spot of where you want this to be uh, set for your current vocal. Draw your way back home You'll be fine and carry Very cool. I'm really a wide open kind of guy because I'm going to use the amount knob over here to set how much I want in it. Draw your way back home. You'll be fine and carry on. The instantaneous width, size, thickness, it's fantastic um and i think i would usually use it like this wide open and just blend in what i want if you're using it directly on an instance of whatever it is you're using this on solos violins vocals what have you but what i would more likely do is put it on the send or put it on a separate track and use just the effect only so when we use this effect only knob it's going to take away like in this case we have a wide open fully wide fully separated um and you'll hear what's going on when I turn off the dry signal. Draw your way back home. 
So see, it's just out there on the sides when you have the effect only. So what that's going to do is clear your center channel. So what I would probably do, I've just been playing with this today. Let's remove it off of this track. Let's duplicate this track exactly. We will copy this down. And on this one, let's put vocal doubler back on here. We want it in stereo. So you can actually get the stereo effect. And then I'm going to reset my settings. Wide open. And then I'm going to just have the effect only. This way, and I'll start with my fader all the way down. And this way I can blend this in. Crawl your way back home. So you're still getting the double effect, but here's what I can do, things that I like to do. I can process this separately and just process the sides, just process the doubles, as opposed to when I have it in on the main one. If I have it all in a single instance, I'm going to be processing the entire track. So let's, let's saturate my doubles, which is something I do in a lot of mixes. It's one of my favorite sounds. Crawl your way back home You'll be fine and carry on Fantastic if you want to do that, or if you want to get fancy and only, let's say, only add reverb to the sides and not to the initial dry signal. Crawl your way back home. You'll be fine and carry on. So now you've only added your reverb to the doubles produced by this doubler. So again, this guy, this is fantastic. This is great. I can't believe this is free. Um, don't know how long it'll be free. Go out there and get it and start immediately improving your your vocals. If you are like me and can get your singer to actually sing triples and quads, then that's also perfectly fine. You don't need this. Just use the tracks. But if you get something that I get a lot is a single track, and that's it, then this is excellent for just dropping in on a chorus or dropping in somewhere you, where you just want to thicken it up or throughout the entire song to help push your vocal. Thanks for hanging out. Subscribe if you haven't. If you found this useful, leave comments. Uh, tell me if there's any other plug-in reviews you'd like to see that we can schedule ahead and I can look into uh, giving you guys some videos on some plugins that you would like to know more about. Head over to trainmixes.com and get your free saturation ebook. And I look forward to seeing you here next week. Y'all have a good day.